authorities at the new Javensa Municipal Assembly promised to replace the ripped off roofing of the Ajuso SDA Basic School when I first reported about the unfortunate incident in March this year. The roof of the classroom block got ripped off after a downpour in February, destroying books and other learning materials in the process. The unfortunate incident got to the knowledge of City News when it began taking a toll on teaching and learning in the school. After last week's rain, I decided to pass by the school and check how they were doing and to see if there has been another havoc. But to my surprise, February's incident, which I reported about, is yet to be fixed. Parents who have the awards at the school are frustrated about the lack of agency and they have been speaking to City News. Yeah, you see, this issue is very serious. Since uh, January 17th that they had, their roots were being ripped off. I'm pleading that the government should see this as an urgent need and then I'll say, even the money that uh, they talk about Fed even return, you can come and use part of the money he returned to come and solve this issue. In this sense, you look at people, our children are studying under the trees, which is very bad. So we are pleading on government that he should please attend to SDA school in Koforidia. Last week's downpour has worsened the situation as the rainwater has been collected in the open classrooms and currently serving as a breeding ground for mosquitoes. The entire structure is also soaking up with rains, which is gradually weakening the building and adjoining classes, which is used by students. Teachers and students here are scared the entire structure may collapse on them if the problem is not rectified immediately. They are not the only ones. They are not the only ones who are worried by this development, but residents in the neighborhood who use the stretch of the school and are witnesses to their current conditions are equally worried. Looking at the way the children are even learning under the tree, I don't think it's a good thing. That means should in case any rain that sets now, the students cannot learn. And it's not a good thing for um, them as we speak now. So we are entreating the government to help in fixing this problem. Um, as you can see, when you move around, you see some um, drain around the classroom and that is not a good thing at all. Okay, um, we are very much worried um, with regards to the issue that has happened at the school. Since January that um, it's rained very heavily here, portions of the roof have gone off and it's been reported to the assembly and nothing so far has been done about it. My, my major concern has got to do with our kids who are now being uh, schooled in one of the uh, church premises very uh, close by, which is not healthy. So about two or three classes have now been lumped up into one, and it's not making teaching and learning very effective. We are calling on the assembly to be up and doing. We've, we've sent several petitions, several letters, and several words to them, and nothing has so far been done. And we don't know what the issue has got to do, or uh, what the issue... Ajiso Henin Anatiti Ping Pong is equally worried about the plight of both teachers and students of Ajiso SDA Basic School. Uh, they've been coming to my palace, then... They said they are moving their children or their wards from this particular what is called school, that's the SDA. But I don't know. Uh, I asked the headmistress to report the whole thing to the assembly. And up till now, almost since last uh, just January, February, till now, nothing has been done about that. So I'm appealing to the authorities, that the municipal assembly, to consider this and then do something about it because uh, the... the, the the parents and then the teachers and then the, uh, the school listen, authorities, they are all worried about the whole listen. Even I, as a chief, I'm also worried. This current condition has forced some of the teachers to organize classes under trees and the SDA church graciously also opened up the church auditorium for the JHS students to hold their classes there. But the open nature of the place often disrupts the attention of the students. Pastor Osei Bonsu Sapon is the regional manager of SDA schools in the eastern region. It so happened that when the rains were about starting, we had the school building rift off. And we felt that it's um, right to see to it that the students are not disturbed by the rains and the rifting of, of the roof. And so we decided to give them our church hall to be used for interim. We then went to see the appropriate offices, that is the MCE, and we also talked to the uh, directorate, education directorate, New Jabe in South, and they all promised that it will be worked on as, as soon as practicable. Unfortunately, 
until now they haven't come a get fun classroom project has been stored for years now the school's old washroom which was demolished by the contractor to make way for the construction of new one has also been stored and the current situation has given room for open defecation which also puts the lives of students who resort to the bushes at risk of being atta attacked by reptiles for pastor sebonsu this is worrisome yeah it's so worrisome so bad uh, what what else can i say um the immediate solution from the church is that we've offered them that of the church's uh, lavatory to be used but you know the number and that which was built for the church and so that is the problem we also encountering here people come and to have it done there we've also spoken to the mce who said he was going to see to that also fact this adjoining new block the contractor passed away that is why we haven't finished he was supposed to have also done that also for us so parents who have the awards here at the sda business school uh, at Ajuso Senate Flats uh, have begun taking the awards from this particular school as a result of uh, the inability of the assembly to replace the structure which was ripped off now the church has graciously offered them the opportunity to use at this church auditorium but this is also coming at a cost to the church and they are calling on city authorities to have the building as uh, roof replaced for city news nail ni amati kanabu